Okay, you're quite high up, but I think we've established by now there's not really a good place for me to put my camera in my car unless I've got my camera mount, which why would I have my car mount for my camera in my car where it belongs? Who knows? I don't know where that's gone. But hi, welcome. I just wanted to add a little clip at the beginning. You know me, I love a disclaimer at the front of a video. I just want to explain what, where the hell I've been. Who takes like three or four days off of Vlogmas? That would be me. <laughs> well, I, I kind of put one of the vlogs like a day late. It seemed like I wasn't gone for as long. But from Friday, I just wasn't feeling great, I'm gonna be honest. If In case you didn't know, it was my granddad's anniversary of when he passed away on Friday. And I decided that day that I just didn't want to vlog. And I kind of just set myself up to not vlog for the weekend, ultimately. And I have not been feeling great. Um, I feel a lot better now, but just little things. My back has been killing me, my pregnancy back. But I, again, I, I feel like I can't really complain. It's like one of the only symptoms I've had and one of the only things to moan about. And yeah, I just thought, do you know what? I'm running myself into the ground a little bit here. You guys will understand. Because honestly, like I only ever received the nicest comments of people being like, cut yourself some slack, like you're literally pregnant. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I actually need to remember I'm six months pregnant. And yeah, I just thought I'd take a couple days off. And I wasn't doing much anyway. So the content would have been rubbish but I wanted to get back I've missed it and it's a little bit of a confusing bit now because I've got content in the next clip which is really exciting it's us choosing our pram for baby girl and honestly this is one of the most exciting things ever I was I've literally pictured us getting her pram do you know what I mean like choosing her pram together it's just something I think well I personally was so excited to do like go out and choose it put it together and just like imagine our next stage of life like having her in the pram and also it's so exciting because mamas and papas have teamed up with me for this part of the video so I've got a clip from like a month ago when we went to go view the prams and then when it came the other day which was over the weekend actually so I did actually vlog a little bit and you can see us put it together so i'm gonna put that here and then i'm gonna continue literally in this spot in like a couple minutes and we're gonna go to bista village actually i think i did a clip at home this morning either way you're coming back and we're going to bista today with georgia and it's snowing well it was snowing yesterday and it's beautiful looks like we're not on land but anyways thank you guys for being patient i'm back i'm not gonna promise that there won't be another tiny tiny break but for now, for the foreseeable, she's back, Vlogmas is back on. I missed you guys, let's go. We are on the train, I hope you can hear me. We are on our way to Westfield, Stratford, because we've got a personal shopping experience with mamas and puppies, which I'm so excited about. In particular today, we're going to look at prams, which is so crazy. And I'm really excited that we get to have this personal shopping experience because we need the expertise because I don't know any why are you laughing? Do you know loads about prams? Yeah. I bet you don't even know how to fold prams. <laughs> Do you? We lit when I tell you we know nothing. I remember when we went out for the day with Zelia and Pia and we were actually in charge of the pram and the car seat situation, it was funny. We should have filmed it really because that was the comedy gold. That is literally, huh? No, I didn't know then. But it was just, I don't know. It's obviously, like, obviously, when you've not had a baby, you don't know how to do these things. So that's why we're so excited to be doing this with mamas and papas because we're going to get a little bit of a lesson, you know? But I want to take you along. I've been looking online, I think I know the kind of vibe I want and I'll show you guys the pram that we go for. And family, make it in 
the last time we saw, we were choosing our pram and tested out all the mamas and papas options and it took us a while. Actually, no, it didn't. It took us a while to pick the colour that we wanted, but we went for the Acaro pushchair stroller and I'm so excited for you guys to see this. We're going to put it together now and I'm going to talk you through all the good stuff and the reasons that we chose this one particularly over some others. Because I know choosing a pram is a little bit overwhelming. There's so many options and you don't even know what you're looking for, to be honest. And everyone's preference is different. But like I said, I'll give you the reasons why we went for this one. And you guys get to see it. So I'm going to do a little time lapse of us putting it together. Yay! So other than this being a gorgeous, sleek pram, I just wanted to tell you a couple of other reasons why we went for the Acaro. I love the one hand fold function, which means it's super easy to fold when your arms are full. We show you towards the end how we demonstrate that. It's also an all terrain pram, which means it's perfect for outdoor adventures with robust and puncture proof wheels. Right, we put it together and Cass has the challenge to put it down one handed. As if you're holding the baby. Well, with this part of her. Yeah. As if you're holding the baby. You can't do it with a lot. No, wait, you can't because you've got to untip it like that. Yeah, because the baby will be in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go on then. Okay, make sure the baby's okay. <laughs> See, I guess you wouldn't need one hand at that point, but. And our pram is all set up. We just put a little blanket in there that comes with it. This is the colour Heritage, by the way. This is the colour that we decided to go for, which I'm so glad we did. We actually chose this colour before we knew the gender. And I don't know why. I think I just always had a gut feeling girl. And I wanted like a creamy kind of colour. This is so gorgeous with the brown. And oh, I'm just so excited. It feels like new car day. <laughs> Cass is just looking at the section for when she gets a little bit older. So this is what we use while she's newborn. Obviously because they have to lay flat. And then this is the one that you can have facing out. I think they call it world facing and also facing you as well. But obviously this is what we're going to be using for the foreseeable. It's a green and buttercream day. Can you wear a scarf with the hood? Because I'm struggling right now. Though. What are we going to do? We'll leave that for now. But I'm off to Bista Village today. I'm going to tackle the snow. Let's see if we can actually get out of my car park space. <laughs> this outfit is from New Balance. I got it in PR yesterday. It's really, really nice. And they sent me some new sneaks as well, which I love these. I've got the green ones like this, but not the silver colourway, which... It's cool. And then these sunglasses are green. They're from Key. And this scarf. I tried to get a scarf like this like all last year. Couldn't get it. I saw they had it in River Island and it was sold out. This I found in like a little boutique in a little town. Which is so annoying. Sorry. If I can find a green one like this. It's like the Bottega green. I'll try and link it. Let's go out. I can't lie, as much as I've been like, I want to get rid of this car, and I am getting rid of this car, <laughs> I'm getting a new car, now it's snowing, I can appreciate this car a lot more, I mean, I love this car, but this car is so sick in the snow, it, I honestly feel like, well, obviously it's like a truck, obviously it's made kind of for the, well, not made for the snow, but for uneven ed edges, floors, grounds, you know, just not flat surfaces, which is questionable why I got it. But anyways, I'm thoroughly enjoying, well, touch wood, so far, so good. Driving in the snow, Cass left this morning. He actually tried to go to work yesterday <laughs> and his car, bless him. He just said I was just rolling back and forth on the spot. Like I was not going anywhere. And I thought he'd have the same situation today. Um, but he was fine. And he said, it's very slippery. He rung me and like, briefed me because he went out just before me and 
I got in the car and I'm like, what is this kid talking about? Because the roads are great, but it's obviously just my car has a great grip on the roads. But anyways, I'm on my way to Georgia's, picking her up, and then we are headed to Vista, I think from her house, because she lives like 25 minutes from me. The drive is about just over an hour. So we've got time to catch up and then we're gonna do some Christmas shopping, get some lunch, have a nice day and yeah, Vlogmas is back on. And what a time. This is like, I, I don't actually love snow, but I, I can appreciate it's beautiful. I mean, it causes a lot of havoc, but it looks stunning and you know, I actually wouldn't be mad if we had a white Christmas this year. I'm gonna manifest it for us all. Let's have a white Christmas. We made it! Hey. Oh, you look so like See how cold it is. majestic in the snow. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Majestic. Like I actually wanna get some earmuffs. Ooh, look quite brought us because I thought I didn't want us to get cold. Some hand warmers. Oh my, I thought they were um, hobnobs or something. <laughs> no. Oh, I might get a oh. coffee. Do you need a wig? You wanna get one now? Okay, get one now. Should I get one now? Yeah, go on. Sorry. First purchase being made. We should have done a bet. I know. It was, no, it would have well, been no, so I think obvious. I would have bet on myself. <laughs> yeah. It would have been so obvious. We are in Sandro and Georgia's just tried on nice stuff, the like nicest though. coat. I'll give you a glance actually. It sounds sexy, Sid. It's got a double S all over it. And it's really, really lovely coat. She's a lot more um, yeah, I was on YOLO the than me. I literally said, um, I went, well, why don't we go for a walk? And she went, nah, I'll just get it. I was like, okay, okay, cool. So let's give a little bit of context. I have actually wanted a coat like this for a very long time. I've got the HM one and I love it, but I wanted, I wear it a lot and I wanted a little, a little bit more bougie one. You don't have to just fight to us, love. Like, don't worry about us. <laughs> Ladies who lunch. <laughs> We've come for some food. I did not know it was part of so house. Oh no, I did actually. Because in Barcelona, they tried to track us out or something of the Soho house. I took a picture. Right. And I got told off. Oh, to be I'm fair. Just thinking about, oh my god. Wait, you're not allowed to take photos of your food? Well, I took a picture in the one in Barcelona and then she came over shouting at me. Yeah. yeah. She just spoke about it on my story. Like. Anyway, we've come for some food in, how do you say it? Chaconis. Chaconis, yeah. This is where I went for food when I first met your sister. I was going to say that. It was a nice one we went to. It was to, nice. Wasn't it? Really, really yeah. nice. So we've just gone for a little bit. So I've got pizza, some meatballs. Jesus, this is second choice. She, she wanted um, zucchini for they've run out, but burrata and that looks really good. Yeah, it does. Yours looks good as well, even though I don't eat meat. But I think yours looks nicer. Do you think? Yeah, I, I really do. Anyways, I will talk you through what I got when I got home because I got some more bits. But we're not done actually. We're actually doing very well. We're doing we quite are well. Doing well. Yeah. Anyway. Well said. Like I'm literally mar with marching around. <laughs> when we went in um, one of the jewelry shops, I just sat at the back and I was like, right, Mum needs a break. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. I'm quite happy because I've actually got a donut. I'm so cold. <laughs> oh, the dear, you've got snacks. I've got two drinks though, coke yeah. or water, depending on yeah. what I want. And you've got water. That was cold, and we had really heavy bags. Stupidly, we went to the white company fairly early on in the trip, what which we bought candles. And I can't wait to put my heat seat on just to be like my, my back. And we're I mean, leaving. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> carrying <laughs> another person. We're leaving at five pm. I can't believe we're leaving at rush hour. Like you couldn't write it. And I've got a Christmas work seat that I'm definitely going to be late for, which is funny. I'm sorry. It was shopping or going to the Christmas works thing. Sorry, if you know me, you know my pet peeve is driving rush hour, and we are li we've signed up for it. We've literally said hit us with all the traffic in right. England. Oh, hang on, it doesn't look too bad. Don't even say that. I know. I don't know why I did. Do you want to do the fastest route, which says motorways required? Yeah. Right, we will, um, I'll probably see you when I'm home. So do you want us to say bye? Oh, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to see what we, um, I'll show you what I got and I'll have to explain what you got. Well, I've yeah. Got, like, some of it's presents, Very right? similar what we got. Yeah. Very similar, really, from the white company anyway. But that's me done with Bista for a year because I'm knackered. Well, I'll put her off, lads, for a while. <laughs> Actually not okay how tired I am. I just had a bath, that's probably why I look a little bit pink. I feel really hot actually. You know when you've been in the cold all day and then you come in and the heating's on and you just feel overly warm. Got quite a lot of Christmas pajamas going on actually. These are so cute, I get them from Boat Avenue. Got rangers on, the rangers are upside down. Oh no, they're like a mix. Really cute. Um, let me show you what I got from Vista today. Don't get too excited. This bag's not unreal. There's not loads and loads and loads. 
Um, I got a bag, which I did post on my Instagram story. And I saw it as soon as I walked in the shop. It's not like anything fancy schmancy, but I really liked the structure of it. And I thought it was quite reasonable considering it was like, how do you word it? It's not like designer price. Like don't get me wrong, it's not like cheap, but it was, I'll tell you how much it was. I know what I'm trying to say. It's like a middle mark kind of, did they take the label off? So it was 186 pound. And this is what it looks like. I think I was drawn in because of the S's as well. It's like, it's literally, oh my God, if I marry Cass, it's my initials. I just love how structural and boxy it is. I like a bag where I can kind of just find everything easy because it's not super slouchy. And I think I'll put a picture on the screen of what I was wearing. I was wearing, well, I showed you, but it was all cream and I think it just tied in really nicely. And I just really, really liked it. And just think it's a nice middle kind of size. And Georgia bought something in Sandro. So I was just like, let me try this brand out for myself. And like I said, I just think it was a nice mid-range kind of brand. I did go in coach and I was this close to get in the pillow bag in cream. But again, I don't know if it's because of the outfit I was wearing today. It was like a more of a camel kind of cream, like a warm cream instead of like a yellowy cream. So it just wasn't like dead sold on it. And also there was no discount it being at Bista. So I just thought if I really want it, I'll order it online. But Georgia has it. So she was kind of talking me into it. And then I went in the white company and I just love the shop. Some of these bits might end up being just the odd little Christmas present. I'll show you because I do end up like just chucking random things in people's Christmas presents. So I don't have anything specific. This smells so good. So this is the mold wine large scented candle. It's just their like the typical big candle. And I think their candles were, you saved around like 15 pound getting them at Vista. This smells so good. I love the smell of mulled wine so much. This is neatly wrapped, so I'm not gonna unwrap this, but this, actually, yeah, I will, because this was for me. <laughs> I said I'm not, I wasn't gonna buy loads of stuff for myself, but here we go. So, I like the smell of mulled wine, but I love this. This is the smell of mistletoe. And I always have like a seasonal room smell, room spray. So I have a pumpkin one, which I haven't actually moved from our hallway, like our entryway to the house. And I don't know, when I know people come around, I just give it a little spritz. And I thought mistletoe is obviously perfect for now. And that is a lot. I could guess I could keep it till next year. Can you make these things last? Because obviously I'm not gonna really use all that up in two weeks. But this smells unreal if you go in the white company. And then, there was a few deals on things like this. So this is a hand and body cream in the scent Capri, which smells unreal. Well, apparently I got two of them and they say 10 pound, but then it says two for 15. I'm very confused by this receipt, but you end up saving quite a bit in the white company nevertheless. And then I just couldn't not go near the baby section. <laughs> This was one of the little blankets and this was down from 36 to 24 pounds. And I just love this shade of pink. It's very soft kind of blush and it's a knitted patchwork baby blanket. This baby has a lot of blankets, but I just loved this kind of shade of pink. It's just nice and subtle. And then Georgia talked me into this. At first, I wasn't sure, but the more I looked at it, I was like, it actually is so cute because it's obviously a baby grow, but it looks like PJs because of this. Well, you could, but I feel like, would you put on like pajama bottoms and a top on a baby? I guess so, but like maybe not tiny baby, but it looks like a pajama set. And then it's got like a little deer. Is that a deer? Yeah. 
how freaking cute yeah it has grown on me a lot and this was 24 down to 16 and that is literally all i got so it's hard i don't know if you go to vista and you are literally going there and need to get everyone's christmas presents and you have in mind that you want to spend a fair bit on everyone then it's a really good place to go georgia's shop was more successful than mine so she got a gift for her nan she got a bag for her nan she got quite a lot from the white company like me just like bits and bobs to put in people's presents a coat from sandro and i'm sure anything else she can go and have a look because she was vlogging today but yeah if you want to go there in particular and buy a specific designer bag everything at an outlet is like old seasons i think in ysl they had some of their newer stuff because there was a bag in there that georgia recently bought but it's i almost don't know why they're at the outlet because they are the price that you'd get them in ysl does that make sense anyways that is it from me today i am exhausted but it's good to be back i hope that you guys missed me <laughs> actually before i go this is literally on the side next to me as i was saying about christmas pajamas i had this on my story the other day as well and a lot of people were asking about it again this is from bob avenue not an ad but their christmas bits are so cute and it's like a little play suit nothing for maternity but it's super stretchy so it fits me nicely so i'll link these two down below if you want to get in the christmas spirit but i hope you guys are good staying safe in the snow and i will see you tomorrow